Okay, what's going on today? I'm heading down to Maruchidor to get my phone fixed because I rode over it with my mountain bike. I don't know what possessed me to do that, but it's definitely not gonna happen again. $400 to get another screen on my phone. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Now it's time for a bit of work. Food porn. Headphones just fell in the sauce. So this is what you have to do when you forget your swimmers. Unless you've broken one of these and had it fixed, you have no idea how good it is to have a phone with a real screen. It's good to have you back. There's nothing worse than dirty, grimy, greasy sunglasses. You put them on your face and you can't see properly. Here's a little trick. You basically give them a rinse with soap and water. Then I just give them a rough dry with the tea towel everywhere. And then I take the glass cloth and give it a final dry. Clean and clear. A couple of vlogs ago I showed you guys the worm tail which is at the end there. Today I want to show you a few more specific things because over the next couple of months you're going to see a lot of growth in here, you're going to see a lot of change and I want to document it with you alongside me so we can all enjoy the fruits of these plants. I actually don't know what all of these plants are exactly because I didn't plant them in this bed. But behind me we have corn. I love seeing how they twist their little leaves out of the middle there. How awesome. Now next to the corn we have some fennel. There's the little fennel plant. We have some little marigolds which help attract the bees and keep pests away. Over here we have something that has flowers that I actually have no idea what it is. But behind there, there's some beans, and these beans are intended to grow up the corn. So the corn's going to grow up nice and straight and strong, and these beans are going to grow up it. Let's have a look in the worm tower. Ew. Okay, so after the corn, we have some mustard greens down here. Mustardy. Not very strong, though. Next to that, we have some rocket. It's starting to go to seed. See how it's shooting up in the middle there? Here we have more marigold, more marigold in the background there. 
more rocket in the background too and a little lettuce. This guy is some sort of chili plant. Lettuce. This one is Warrigal Greens, which is going to spread. Mild, but astringent. <coughs> more lettuce. Parsley. More marigold. Here we have some kale. OMG, look at these little bad boys. Aren't they wonderful? I have no idea what this little guy is. Then we have another big uh, kale type green. You know, I'm getting these mixed up. I don't know exactly what these are. This is one sort of what I think is kale. This is another sort of kale, but I know they're different. Over here, we have basil, and it's growing next to a tomato plant. This is another type of bean, and that's gonna climb up here. I'm gonna call this another type of kale. There's another one. And this little guy here, that's a wild lettuce. Bitter, but delicious when your body wants it. More tomato plant, beautiful. Kalish plant, Kalish plant, Kalish plant, Kalish. Another little tomato. He's a little guy. He's just growing up. Here we have some sort of basil. I'm not sure what it is. Hmm. That's either called a lemon basil or a Thai basil or something like that. Super strong lemongrass flavor in that one. Amazing. Here we now have another rocket going to seed. More flowers up there. Oh, more rocket going to seed. Well, here we have a little dandelion. And we all know why we have a little dandelion, because it blows its seeds of possibilities anywhere and everywhere. Another baby tomato. Kale plant, kale plant, kale plant, kale plant, kale plant. Not sure what this little guy is. Amazing lettuce, 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 kale, kale plant. plant. Now here we have another couple of beans growing. There's a little one under there that you can't see, but it's like this one, just a little bit smaller. Now these are going to grow up this little wire fence over here. I really have no idea what sort of beans they are. And last but not least, the testicles of the gods. Strawberries. There's another big guy hiding in the middle there. I see you, buddy. I see you. Like that. Wow. That is literally the best strawberry I've had from this bunch of strawberries this whole time. But before we finish here, you'll remember this little bed that we made in the last vlog, or a couple of vlogs ago. It's been planted out. And what we have here is a little perennial coriander nettle plant. Bring onion something, tomato, another baby tomato, a rosella, another little guy that I'm not sure what he is. And this little guy right here is called Herb Robert. I can't tell you anything about the plant, but it's supposed to be really good for you, and I'm looking forward to him growing up. <laughs> Eggs, avocado, toast, and beans. Vlog number five, peace out. Maybe I should give a food warning for those people that don't like it when I eat in front of the camera. It's not as if I don't have manners. It's not as if I sit there chewing with my mouth open. Although I have noticed when I've been editing the videos, I've noticed that a few times. So delicious. So delicious. <laughs>